Hey everyone, this is Michelle with Foxy Chick Designs and Magnolia Design Company with another quick fun live using some of our amazing products. How is everyone doing this Thursday night? I hope you all had a good day. Just getting this all pulled up here. So as you come in, if you will say hello so that I know that you are here and who's here and I can welcome you in. Wonderful, wonderful day. Hey, Sandy, welcome. We are going to have some fun tonight. All right. <clears throat> you on yet? I am. She does because I'm <laughs> live. Oh, no, she doesn't want. She oh, no. Okay. <coughs> All right. So we are going. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't type tonight. tonight. All right, here we go. All right, so first things first, if you see the cute little live button right here, if you will comment hashtag live, if you don't see that little red live button, if you'll comment hashtag replay, if this is the first time that you are watching Foxy Chick Designs, if you will comment with a number one. If you've watched us before, if you would comment with a number two. And if you are a fabulous Magnolia Design Company creator at any level, if you will comment with a number three. All right, so we are going to play around with some Magnolia Design Company products. Um, the stencil that we're going to use tonight is the... Um, Whisper eight and a half by 11. These are available on my website and they are $13.99. And it says, whisper I love you to a butterfly and it will fly to heaven and deliver your message. And hashtag live. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> I did say comment hashtag live. Yes, I did. Um, Anyhow, with this weekend being Mother's Day, and most of you know that I lost my precious mama on Mother's Day three years ago. Um, so I just wanted to do this just for the fun of it. Um, I, I like butterflies. She liked butterflies, so I just thought I would do this for her. Um, nothing spectacular, just... Um, I particularly like this stencil, and with um, her anniversary being next week, I just thought I would go ahead and do this one tonight. So, we are going to use a chalkboard that um, I had cut, and hey Mary, welcome, doing much better, thank you. Tuesday was awful, it was just a bad day all the way around. Um, so I, and when I come live, I try to be upbeat and, hey, how's it going? And that definitely was not happening Tuesday night. 
and I just if I can't have fun at what I'm doing I just I'm not gonna drag you guys along down with me if I'm not feeling well or if I'm not you know doing so great so that was that on <laughs> on Friday um, then I also have pulled out some Jenga blocks from the game Jenga and I have painted them with Waverly um, antique wax and so they are brown so we're gonna play around with them and then I've pulled out our bright white our cool gray and some raspberry and so I thought the the pink and the gray I will I'm gonna do a what do you call it a swirl technique on the butterflies and then the lettering is going to be in white so that is that is the color combination that we are going to play with tonight um just wanted to give you a little update for next week um monday night will be a craft night tuesday night will be a tuesday tutorial with magnolia design company and that is all that will be next week I will, I will, I promise you I will. I will schedule it. I will get it done and get it scheduled before I leave. Um, I am going out of town next weekend and I'm leaving Thursday right after work. So I'm not going to be live next Thursday night. So one week from tonight, I will be on the road heading for the amazing, amazing mountains of Pennsylvania. I'm feeling so, which means super well. <laughs> Um, hey, Missy, welcome. Um, so just wanted to give you guys that little bit of a heads up that we will have a live on Monday night. We will have a live on Tuesday night, but we will not have a live on Thursday night next week. Uh, just because I will be on the road, but I will do a pre-recorded. So be looking for that. Um, it will post sometime on Thursday. I don't think I'm going to wait until seven o'clock. I will probably have that air maybe around 5 five thirty, um so you guys can keep an, a lookout for that and that'll be posted here on the foxy chick designs business page also wanted to let you guys know that we are at 317 followers i would really like to hit 400 before the end of may i would really like to do that and i need your help um if you could send your friends, you know, over to get them to give us a thumbs up and a like, I would totally appreciate it. Um, when we hit 400, I am going to do a giveaway. Um, I'm going to do, you are coming to my area. I live in New Jersey. What part of New Jersey, Mary? Um... So anyhow, when we hit 400 um, likes, man, I'm saying um a lot tonight. I'm so sorry. When we hit 400 likes and followers, we are at like, I think 262 on likes and I think we're at 317 on followers. When we hit 400 followers, then I'm going to do a giveaway. And anybody that it happens to be a part of this and live and you know when your when your peeps come over and, and give us a like or a thumbs up or a share if you would have them give your name that they sent you just have them do a uh, just a comment <coughs> so sorry um and just so I know who is sending people because I want to make sure that you guys get your names in the drawing for the projects I'm going to give away. Northern Saddlebrook, New Jersey. How far are you from like Trenton or Princeton or New York City? That'll help me. All right. So we're going to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip you guys down so that you can see the project and we're going to rock and roll. 
Alrighty. Let's see if I can do this without, you know, making everybody dizzy crazy. Hey, hey, there we go. Got it done in one shot. Yay, yay. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and stencil first. So, I want to open about a half hour or less from New York. Okay. Okay, pretty cool. So there's our raspberry. I'm going to see how our white is because this was kind of um, I don't think this is going to work. Of course, as I spill it all over me. Of course, why not? Um, I think, mm. okay, I'm going to let this, I'm going to have to do some paste maintenance with this white, so I'm going to pull out my new container of white, so I'm just going to open this guy here, and we're gonna get this open. We're gonna just now see this one was an easy one to open. Some are not always so nice. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get my stir stick. And we're gonna go ahead and just get this. Dirt up here. Okay. okay. So we've got our raspberry, our white. Actually, I'm going to set these over here. But a raspberry and our white. And then I'm going to grab our cool gray. really stirred up. This is pretty good in here. Okay, so now we have our cool gray. So I've got some squeegees here. I don't think I Oh uh, yeah, maybe I better stir this one up. I didn't think it looked pretty good, so I didn't think I had to stir up. Okay, so there's there are our three colors right there. So I'm going to take off my stencil from the backer sheet. like so. And I'm going to set our backer sheet aside because our stencils are silk screen self adhesive reusable stencils. Um, they can be used over and over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and because this has been used before, I'm not going to go ahead and fuzz it. I'm going to just go ahead and lay it down here. And I'm going to oh I would be careful how I lay this. And actually, I think I'm going to just kind of make this not real straight. I kind of want to put it on a slant. And I'm going to just go ahead and smooth this all out, making sure that there are no air bubbles in our silk screened areas. All right, and I'm going to start with our white first. So I'm just going to dip my squeegee into my white chalk paste. And I'm just going to work from the top. 
I'm going to just work my way down. And you just gently glide your squeegee over the silk screened areas. You don't need to push real hard. more than I needed. Way more than I needed. So I'm just gonna scoop that back into the jar because that's way more than I needed. So I'm gonna be very careful in here because I don't Just being very careful in here around the butterfly. Okay, so now I'm just going back over, pulling up any of the extra, any of the excess here, so that I can put this back into my jar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Pull up, I'm going to kind of do like a chalk and peel, I'm going to kind of go over like so, like so, and then I'm just going to lay this back down, I'm going to make sure that my butterfly here is pushed back down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in some gray here. And then I'm going to just dabble in some of the raspberry color. Just like so. Then I'm going to take my other squeegee. I'm going to just start from here from the top. And I'm going to just mix this all together. And I just want to make sure that the gray gets in there too. Because if I see that it's going to start kind of really messing up, I will get a wipe and clean it off. Okay. So I'm just going to go in here a little bit. I want to kind of be careful. Alright. I need to grab a wipe because you with mixing a color like this you really don't want to put it back into your jar so I'm gonna just go like that and I'm gonna just go back over it like this because it kind of made a really pretty purple color to be honest with you okay so now that we have all of that taken care of, now I'm going to just go ahead and pull this up. So, I'm going to go from the bottom up. And we have, voila. Oh, I like how that turned out. That turned out super cute. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, okay, yeah, I miss, I miss part of a, yes 
excited. I missed part of a butterfly here, but you know what? We're going to leave it. We're just going to leave it as is. Okay. So now, hey, Sharon, welcome. Okay, dokie. So now I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to close up my containers. Because um, you know what happens when I don't clean stuff up right away. Alright, so there's that. And we've got our white. And so when I go to clean them up, I go around the edges. Just to kind of scoop off. Because that stuff will get hard. And that's kind of where you lose some of your your chalk paste because it gets hard around the edges and then you know it kind of makes it difficult see like this here all that around the edges there I should have cleaned up and I did not and oh no okay <laughs> I'm like oh no I'm like I thought I got <sighs> messy crafter messy crafter I'm telling you Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to, very chic, thank you. So now I'm going to use these cute little jingle blocks and I'm going to go down the sides here. So what did I do? You know what? Okay, so I'm just going to put some hot glue. right here and then I'm going to lay it here on top and I'm just gonna just hold it there for a second and then I'm gonna do one down here at the bottom and then I'm gonna fill in in between is how I'm gonna do these okay so now I'm going to this down here and like I said I'm just gonna hold it for a second I need that you need that in gray and teal okay do you want the um, the butterflies gray and teal and the wording white or do you want all of it in gray and teal okay so now I'm gonna just keep going here and I'm going to leave a little space in between each one of the jingle blocks. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Yes, we're going to have an issue. Of course. Because I love too much of a Okay, so we're going to try and peel this back off, which I don't think is going to work. Okay. Oh, well. We're going to just make this work. So we're going to put... try to use these blocks we have an issue so I'm gonna try I don't know if I can get ah there we go got that one off okay just hoping just hoping I could get it off just so that I can make it a little bit better here okay so now I'm gonna just go in here little bit closer there we go 
And now that one will go there. And that one will go there. Okay. There we go. Now we got it. So I'm just laying these up along the edge. Could you use your heat gun to melt the glue? Yeah, I probably could. That would have been kind of smart too. Okay. So there. So now we have that done. All right. So there's one side. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start at the top. Just helps when you start at the top and the bottom and then you kind of fill in the middle. He's fighting with the puppies. They're being crazy. They're being all cray cray. My Papillon loves to be outside. Like, when it's nice out, he does not want to be in the house. But he'll come in, he'll come inside when one of us come in, but then wants right back outside. guys will fit. Bingo. As they say, bingo baby. <laughs> there we go. And the last one we're going to put in here. I let it slide, but that's okay. So there is our cute little project. And what you could do if you wanted to is put like little handles right here. Um, if you've got, you know, small little handles like right here in the middle and make like one of those little, you know, trays that you put over your like stove but you could make, you know, just like a little tray out of it, put like little handles right here or like right here and, you know, make like a little tray. Um, I really like this. I love how it turned out. I love how the colors worked. I'm trying to just get some of the extra glue off. But this is our project for tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that um, you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoy creating it. And just so that you guys know, would you seal it? Yes, I would. I would seal it. And usually, oh, I don't think I have it in here. Um, I have the spray Mod Podge that I spray over it. Um, and I let it sit. So... Yes, I have, I have been sealing my projects just because I do sell them. And so I want to make sure that in the process of shipping and it being displayed that the chalk doesn't come off 
or it doesn't chip or flake or anything like that. So I'm going to pull you guys back up here to me. So thank you guys so much for popping on and watching tonight. I appreciate you guys so very much. I appreciate any time that you take out of your schedule to join me and to either chit chat or, um, you know, just ask questions and interact. Can you use wax to seal? Um, that's a really good question, Darlene. I, you, yeah, I don't know. You might be able to, I just am like always afraid of wiping, um, over my projects. Um, I'm just always afraid that I'm going to smear something. So I like the spray can just so that I can, you know, spray over it and I'm not having to touch it. Like I'm not having to wipe over it at all. Um, I know some people use like regular Mod Podge and brush over it, but there again, I'm just so afraid that I'm going to react something and so I know that you can like wax in between, like if you're doing layers. So I would think that you could use wax, like a min wax finishing wax to seal it. Um, I would think you can. I just, I have never done it. I like the spray can, like I said, just so that I'm not having to brush over my design or wipe over my design. I just, because knowing me, I would end up reactivating the chalk paste and it would smear everywhere. So I just like the, the spray can, but I mean, you could try it. I wouldn't see it hurting anything, but I, I just can't tell you that it actually, that I'm a hundred percent confident that it works because I've just never done it. I've, I've never used wax to, I've waxed my boards so that, um, my stencils did not stick to them, but like if I'm not using a Magnolia Design Company um, surface, but, and even then, since I've come to Magnolia Design Company, I've really not even done that. I've not used my wax really at all. So, but anyway, so thank you for that question. That was a really good question. I, I may have to look into that because that is a really good question. Um, I'll do some checking and I'll check with my upline, Darlene, and I'll see, you know, if anybody else has used wax to seal their projects. And if I can get an answer back, I'll try to give you an answer on, on uh, Monday or Tuesday night. If you can, you know, join one of those times. So anyway, thank you again so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Have a great Friday tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Woo. Um, have a great, great Friday and a great weekend. And I will see you guys on Monday night. And I think, I think the project that we're going to do is we're going to use this really cute, um, it's a flag and it's flamingos. And it says, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. So I think this is going to be the cute little background project that we do. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do it on a pizza pan or if what I'm going to do what exactly I'm going to use this for. Um, but I think we're going to, we're going to play with these little flamingos on Monday night. So I hope that you will tune in and see what we come up with, with these, with this cute little flamingo. It's a garden flag from Dollar Tree. So hopefully you will tune in on Monday night and see what we create with this cute little guy. Anyhow, hope you have a great night. I will see you all on Monday night. Bye.